So there we go, like I said I'm not going to time that a whole lot because if you, I've already done this once so that's all nicely cleaned off all the way along. You see here that the uh, original paint there and it's still in good nick like that just because it had been waxed at the back there. I don't know why they hadn't done both sides, it was like just one side had been done. So that's a nice big patch on there now. Um, nice strong inner seal if we go inside so I've cut out the doorstep again because I've got to put the jacking point in there um, but yep yeah, it's looking all right those bits are all back to being solid now here are the parts we've cut out the car so far so that's the roughly old outer seal as I showed you earlier that's just the top of the jacking point that is a doorstep like I say it did need replacing that doorstep because it had a hole in it you can see it was corroded up the front there but again when you look towards the back that's waxed at the back so it hasn't corroded so it just goes just to show you how valuable it is cavity wax in a car um, I mean if this wasn't corroded like that and you had to do this job you see these way these spot welds have gone uh, cut out I mean you could you could weld that panel back in again if you really wanted to but for the price of a doorstep it isn't worth mucking about um i have again thanks to one chish who donated a load of panels i do have another doorstep to go in so again it all saves a bit off the budget right quick progress update so that's all welded up inside now um and the jacking point is on all I've got to do now is put the doorstep in and then after the doorstep uh, I've got to weld the outer sill on. I'll probably show you the long tongs I've got my spot welder and how that does it. It's, it's a bit tricky uh, manoeuvring the spot welder around but it works. So there's the inside of our seal again we have done it in gloss white i had some spare gloss i've left the bits in between bare because these are what get welded to the floor pan i will just put some uh, zinc primer weld through primer over these and then that seal is ready to go back on
So as on the other side, I have glossed the inside of the seal just to give it a bit of protection against rust. Obviously not a perfect finish, but you're never going to see it again. Right, a bit more progress. So we've got our seal tacked and clamped on. Um, bit of advice here. I've done it slightly differently on the other side, but this side, I basically fitted it in the jacking point first. So I got the jacking point in and then lined up everything else. I've actually managed to make use of a slinger bracket bolt hole at the back there to align things on the back. And then I have done my, I've welded the jacking point in, I've done my plug welds, I've seam welded along the bottom there, I've plug welded along the back here because I can't get to them with the spot welder, uh, and I've left the spot welds, the top seam, uh, and these bits until after. Um, there is method in my madness, I think it's easier to do it that way. Uh, let's just check the jacking point fits, which it does. So that's good, no problems so there. Now I just need to get this all spotted in. So some people did ask, these are the long tongs I've got for the spot welder. So obviously this is the bottom of the spot welder. This goes underneath the car, outside, and this is long enough to go inside the car so you can weld, spot weld the inside. Those are the original short um, prongs. last we are done on both sills so near side and off side and both sides have had very similar repairs so it's had inner seal repairs complete outer seal uh, doorstep and jacking point that's all in nicely it's just in primer at the moment um, and you might notice at the front bottom part of the a panel is out there's the uh, the bit that come out. Now I'm not going to do an Ed China on you and replace half an A panel. It's just um, 
down the bottom here where it joins to the seal it was just rotten uh, and it's the a panels are coming off anyway so um, I just cut it out for ease there's a bit of a repair I've got to do on the inside there um, same as on the other side it's very similar both sides in terms of what's gone rusty and it's the usual places for a mini really it's no surprise um, inside like I say obviously we've got a, a new doorstep there which I've put in and just a um, bit of filler over the join it's pretty tidy uh, and then inside yeah just to blow over with a bit of colour just so it's a little bit neater and tidier for the future uh, front at the front here um, this is all solid however it has got a this is a patch on the inside here and there's also a patch around here um, now they're solid um, I know some of the other welding repairs on it haven't been fantastic but those are solid, um, they're welded in okay, so we're not going to touch them. Next steps, so, um, like I said, it, the rear subframe needs to come out and I'm quite worried at the back. I think, I think the back's going to turn into a, a bit of a nightmare. I've, I've sort of had a look inside here and um, it is very very crusty yeah in fact even just feeling it now that closing panel's got a big hole in it that wheel arch i don't know whether it's been repaired it's gonna need repairing i think there's quite a lot of fiberglass in the back end heel board on the other side so i think the back end's gonna want quite a bit as well as a subframe so i'm not going to tackle that yet because i don't have a subframe to put in it and all the work i've been doing so far has been on the bottom of the car it's not really cosmetic stuff and it kind of gets you a bit down both of these seals both sides have taken me i did keep a track of the hours they've taken me about 10 11 hours each side now i do do a bit of filming and that in between and i am in and out of the garage stopping and starting i think if you worked on it solidly there's probably about eight nine hours working each side so at least a day's work to do either side um so to keep morale up i think the next step is we're just going to cut the front end off and i want to get that nice new front end on there just to give me a bit of motivation before i tackle the back um and it is at that point now you do get a little bit down about repairs like this because it just goes on and on and on and like i say the back is going to be a nightmare i think um but now this is a mini that now has a solid floor in it it's got proper seals in it the inner and the outer seals are, are solid the floor pans are solid you know now it, it's got something going for it uh once it's got a front end on it as well all the rock cut out the front end a brand new front end on there you know then it will be kind of getting the motivation for the big push which will be the back end subframe i'm sure boot floor rear valance closing panels a heel board on one side repairs on the wheel arches so there's quite a lot to do there but i think the front yeah let me stop waffling on let's just get on with it Next video, we'll be chopping the front end off and uh, fingers crossed it's not too bad. But like I said, I've already uncovered some horrors, so I'm ready for it.